Welcome to Circular Friends. Amy Whitney here today with Michelle Matri. Michelle is a healer and a teacher. He has been kind enough to join me for a chat on January 1st, 2012. This is a perfect way to bring in the new year for me because Michelle is going to share information about the new earth and about increasing our frequency, which is one of my favorite topics. Michelle, it's a pleasure to meet you and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. You too, Amy. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Now, I like to start my interviews with a little bit of background information. So we know you're a healer and you're a teacher. And I've been blessed to meet a lot of healers in my time. And the one thing they have in common is that they seem to have a transformative experience in their life that leads them to becoming interested in healing. I'm assuming, do you have a, a story or a, a starting point to your healing journey? Yes. Um, well, all, all my life I've been interested in the alternative things, more in the direction of UFOs and extraterrestrials. Mm -hmm. um, I was always curious about the universe and 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 um, I, I was searching into religions and all those kinds. Uh, but after a while, I realized it's. It's all about, I, I, I wondered about healing, but I thought you, you had to be born with, um, with the healing qualif qualifications. It, it was nothing you could learn. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and either you were born with it or not, I thought. So you had a special gift. And I thought it was impossible for me to be able to have that gift. It was only for a few chosen people. Um, but... Then after a while, I uh, searched into the healing um, educations and I found out that it was actually something you could be educated to. Um, and I started with, with uh, going into some healings, spiritual healings, color healings, um, and I found it fascinating and I realized that healing is what everything is about. And we are all are doing healing all the time in different things. Uh, like, for example, if you think positive about someone, you're sending love to someone. And I realized everything is about healing. Um, and that was what I wanted to be involved with. And I was so happy that you could, could do healing um, anyway. And anyone could do healing. And... And you didn't have to be born with a specific um, qualification or a gift. That's a really important message to put out there because I think that's a, a common misunderstanding that, that, um, that, you know, it's an inherited gift, you know, passed down from generation to generation. Yes, and, and, I, and I, I was thinking, I, I, in my life, I really want to be kind to everyone, be, look back at my life and see that I was a kind person. Um, and, um, but I was, it was actually, I was actually, um, it actually many years ago, I, I found uh, an internet page about information um, about the lady that was visiting the Andromeda Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Um, but it took me even more years to find back at that page because I, I, I read about uh, that page, but I didn't save the page address, so I didn't find back at it. Uh, but later some years, I decided I wanted to start um, Reiki healing, the education for Reiki healing. Yes. And what's really strange is about, I think it was the same week I decided, I, I did that decision. I came over white time healing, and then I realized that uh, the lady, the ambassador for white time healing, was also a contacty person on Earth, and I had for years been in, involved with um, contacty persons. I've been reading the books, you know, George Adamski, Elizabeth Clarer, Beyond the Light Barrier. I was so into this. Um, even more than healing. And, but I was so happy that the ambassador for White and Healing was actually a real contacty person too. And that was I've been searching for for so long to find a contacty person that could really put all the pieces together for me because I was involved with spiritual healing. That means I was involved with um, sp uh, spiritism, mediums, 
canalize things. Um, but there was sort of the mediums didn't want to mix the the um, UFO phenomena and and the universe with the spirit world. That's interesting. Yeah, the, it's it's like the mediums. Many mediums don't believe in life on other planets, and many of the contacted persons they are not involved with healing, uh, or they don't believe in maybe don't believe in the spirit world or not involved with mediumship and things like that. But with Shani West, she she's sort of involved with all of those realms. Isn't it amazing? Now, when you look back and you saw Shani West's page and then years later you came back to it, do you think that you had your own personal development to do before you were ready for her teachings? Yes, yes. I think I had to realize that it was, it was about healing. And, and I did have that vibration in me that wanted to give all my life for healing because that's what she's focusing on, not... Uh, not being in contact with her to that you want to see the spaceships you want to fly. <laughs> it's nice I mean that's wonderful but but I realized I am here to do healing it's beautiful it's a beautiful mm-hmm. mission yeah and so and so you you started study with Shani is that how it occurred or yeah well first I started to write her long letters um, where I explained everything about myself and and um, I ex- I'm gay, so I explained that I'm gay. I was very honest and open to right away because mm-hmm. I I felt I I that was what I wanted to be. I wanted to be honest, mm-hmm. and and I I knew she could. I knew well from the start. I really felt in my heart that everything with her was really true, mm-hmm. and and um, I started to re- uh, write her long re- letters, mm-hmm. but she didn't answer any of them. Mm. Yeah, she didn't answer any of them. And I, and I just thought, oh, that was sad. But I kept on writing her really long letters. And, and, uh, and I, I, try, I, find it, I, I had to find a way to contact her. Um, and I started to search on the internet. And I actually found several healers around in the world that was involved with this. Um, but I didn't contact them because um, I felt I first wanted to have an answer from Shani West. And then I came over that she was going to have a lecture in, in Stockholm, in Sweden. Mm-hmm. And I wrote her that I'm going to attend that lecture to meet her, to see her. Mm-hmm. So Shani wanted to, um, to explain that she is working with healing for Mother Earth and uh, with the universe. And she feels that there are so many healers now that she's educated around the world that could more do the conversations with new students. Mm. in the beginning. So Shan is more teaching uh, the higher students, like if you want to become a teacher on the higher levels. Beautiful. Then you got more uh, involved with her, but if you if you are sort of a new person, then she expects you to more be in contact with uh, the different um, high teachers or teachers around in the world first. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's make it, her, it makes her, it's much e- easier for her. Uh, with her time, you know. Of course, of course. And so did you train through another teacher or did she actually agree to work with you due to your persistence? (laughs) I I took some some, um, uh, classes uh, from other teachers Mm -hmm. um, online and um, in in person in Sweden and I also took some online with Vistancia Stone. Uh, in America, what was really interesting for me is that I also, for for some years, had been following the program Bridging Heaven, Heaven and Earth um, on the internet. Um, it's an online program that uh, ha- has interview with different mediums and contacted persons and things like that. And Vistancia started that program back in 1994, but she sort of dropped a little bit out after being involved with Shani because she also said to me that when she became involved with Shani all the pieces came together and that was what she wanted to focus on on. and it was a little bit the same with me that when I when I came in contact with information from Shani I realized that for me this was just beyond everything all the pieces came together and I realized this is it this is what I want to focus on Um, I think 
wh whatever people are doing, it's like Shan is saying also, whatever people are doing that is positive, is helping, is healing everything. It's but for me, the information from Shani was absolutely correct. Beautiful. So, for the audience, what is white time healing? Well, white time healing is pretty amazing because it has endless possibilities. White time um, is the same as the white time tunnel some people are talking about when they experience uh, near death. Yes experience or out of the body they see this tunnel of light and this tunnel actually is something the soul automatic automatically builds for for it to travel back to the home planet in the universe or other places mm -hmm. and babies come with their soul also travel into these white time tunnels but you also have them around out in nature on planets and Shani knows where all the white time tunnels are sort of you could say around the world and especially in Sweden of course where she lives uh, where she lives in Sweden the reason she lives there is much because of all the white time tunnels and through those white time tunnels that is white time healing the, uh, the UFOs or the light ships actually travel in that light Right, uh, and that is a healing light, and it's it, the reason why she calls it white time is because the color white inhabits all the colors, so it's all the colors in one ray, you could say, and it's also all time, so they can travel back and forth in time, and they can travel I instantly through the universe. Um, with no time, so you, they could travel as far as they want, actually, and, and don't use any time for it, nearly, because uh, there is no time, it's all time. They can travel in time, in this light. That's, um, that's difficult for me to get my head around. So, so what happens is you're in sort of a meditation state, and energetically you can be anywhere doing anything. Is that the idea? Yes, well, these white time tunnels is, is actually physical out in nature, but they're only activated around 20 years, each 20 years or something. But Chani knows when they're activated. And this has been, I know people who have been measuring this with instruments, uh, skeptical people measuring, measuring the frequencies and vibrations of these tunnels in Sweden. And it, um, it shows that the vibrations increases when they are activated. Um, but the white time, when when you're a healer, you sort of become a channel, or you you through initiations or accepting yourself, you're you're asking the universe to build a white time uh, portal in you as a human uh, to use here on Earth to give this energy around to people, to animals, to everyone, and. This light sort of is intelligent. It, it can never do any harm. It always knows what energy is needed, what vibrations or colors. The philosophy is sort of like if you are depressed or sick, mm -hmm. you have a lack of certain tones or vibrations or colors. You need actually all the colors there are. Um, so you need a whole spectrum of the rainbow, you could see, or the light from the sun. Uh, but this is a different light. It comes sort of through the sun, but it goes beyond into the heart of the universe. Um, that is so beautiful. It almost it brings tears to my eyes to hear you describe oh, it. Thank you. Yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal. I felt this energy and this healing was... It's just beyond everything I could imagine. It's so perfect and and so true, and because we, we really, when we ask the universe and to 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 be a channel for this energy energy, and we really want it, then we sort of let the universe. Because according to Shani, the universe operates very much according to free will, so they can't interfere with souls if they don't want it. Yes. They're not. They're not. They're not pushing healing or energies on people if they're not ready for it. And 
you sort of have to work with energy. The more you work with this healing energy, the greater healer you become because you open up um, all the chakras, you open up especially the crown chakra and your aura and things like that becomes bigger. But you can never do um, any harm with the healing and they are sort of, but they are very specific in, I mean, Shani West, she, she is the ambassador and Everything has to go through her. She decides who's going, who has the right energy and is on the right level to become supreme teacher or head teacher in that, this and that country. That's um, and you, you yourself, you're a teacher of this uh, method now, aren't you? Yeah, well, I, I'm starting now to teaching a level one. I'm actually focusing um, on something called the Beyond Educations right now. It's, it's another uh, education from, from Shani West. But I've taken all the White Time Healing level classes uh, and also something called Gemstone Healing classes or Crystal and Mineral White Time Healing classes from Shani West, where, where we use crystals. Then you, it's not you that are a channel uh, for the ray, it's the stone. So the different layouts of the crystals can also start this energy because white time is something natural that is out in nature mm -hmm. actually so it's 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 sort of very natural thing also like you can find it in these white time tunnels that are a six-pointed system that are like um, crystals it's beautiful just beautiful now do you notice a shift with people on the earth right now? You you mentioned that Shani has so many people who she's trained now. Is is the frequency increasing with the general population? Yes, I I, I feel I feel so, but I feel it's very much on our inner level. Okay. Uh, in in everyone. Now, the way we met was you sent me, uh, you, you replied to something I sent you and you asked me about the new earth, whether I knew about the new earth. And I, I've heard this, this term uh, before, but I'm wondering if today you could, um, you could share with the audience, what exactly do you mean by the new earth? Yeah. The new earth is actually another bigger planet that is hiding in another dimension, according to Shani. And Shani has the advantage that she has been there physical with UFOs several times so she knows uh, what it looks like she knows what is going to happen she you know the planet earth is a living being it has a soul and it, it also goes uh, on its own spiritual journey and after a while planets has to be reborn they ha have to have another body but it's not like a human, really, um, how we are also being reborn much sooner, of course, than the Earth. It takes thousands, maybe millions of years. And the Earth is so old, so it's time for her to have a new body. And the body is already being prepared, prepared uh, in this another dimension. And her soul has actually started to move over to that planet already now, just bit by bit, because her soul and aura is so big. So it starts bit by bit, and, and it's meant to go very smooth um, to this uh, new planet. But it's actually a physical new planet, and, and we, but we're also going to have actually another new sun, so the sun is also being reborn. And Shani has seen this before uh, with other planets and with other suns. And that's why she can be here now and help us to this transformation, to get it very smooth. And uh, what I feel is very nice from Shani is that she says always that everyone is being helped over, all the souls are being moved over to the new earth so nobody is left behind it doesn't matter what you believe or are done actually but the more positive you are on a higher level the better of course because then you're helping yourself and others so you know, this is the first time i've heard that that no one's being left behind because <clears throat> it seems 
the teachings that I'm, I'm reading or hearing about, it seems that um, it's almost like, um, almost taking you back to the biblical times where people are saying, you need to be good, you need to increase your frequency, you need to do this, you need to do that. Otherwise, you're going to be left in third dimension. Yeah. But Shani says, no, everybody is, is, is this the new earth? Is this the fourth dimension? Is that what you're speaking of? Or is it completely different? Yeah, yeah. It, it is, um, many people are talking about the new earth, and I feel many people are, are mentioning things that Shani also mentioning. But the, the thing is that we who are white and healers or taking the classes from Shani, we are going to help everything so everyone is going over very smoothly without the need of dying. If you die, if your body dies, your soul normally automatically will move over to the new earth. Some people who don't want to stay on the new earth with the high vibrations, they can uh, consciously and with their own wishes choose to move to other planets or other dimensions again. But no one is left behind suffering or something because it's actually the decision of Mother Earth itself that wants to take all her children with her, no matter what we have done. But Shani says that for people to evolve naturally up in this dimension, it will take 10,000 years of living in perfect harmony. So no one, no one on earth, she says, has the karma or, or naturally the, the chance to move over naturally by themselves. They need help. Interesting. Uh, it, yeah, because we all, even if you are a perfect person, I mean, most people are really nice and doing the best they can. But even if we are, we are affected by pollution, sir, by negative energies, wars, negative thinking that are, that are affecting the common consciousness. Yes. So the vibrations will be too low for us to naturally move over. So everybody needs help. So what is going to happen is they... they they take away all karma. There won't be any karma on the earth. So they cleanse everybody for the karma. So you could say they're healing everyone. But even if we all are moving over, it doesn't mean that we don't need to do anything because Shani says that the more positive things we are doing, the better, of course, because we're helping ourselves and others. And even when we come over to the new earth, we will be at different stages, at different vibrations, different steps in our own evolution. So, even if people release all the karma and go to the new earth, we will still be there at different spiritual levels, uh, according to what we have done and past lives and things like that. So, you, 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 if you, if you are very spiritual or if you are a healer or thinking about this, you m might want to do your best. But she just wants to say that nobody needs to be afraid or anything. That's, that's beautiful. You know, it's, it's the first time I've heard that we're all included. I, I, I don't hear other people teaching that. And I just think that's, to me, that is a sign of true spiritualism. Just, yeah. I, I yeah. think that's lovely. Now, we, you, you've talked a bit about doing your best to increase your frequency. Do you have steps that you teach or, or methods that um, that the everyday person could incorporate in their life to increase their frequency? Yeah, well, well, I think absolutely all the occasions, or everything Shine is doing is about love and everything you're doing in love is about higher the vibrations or, or being more positive or more happy or more healthy, more stronger. Um, so, so, but I believe everything you're doing that you know are positive for yourself and others are high in your own vibration. No matter what it is, it's just putting on some beautiful music or taking care of your body. Maybe you want to eat pure food, mm -hmm. organic, or you want to be in contact with animals or out in nature or, or no matter. But in, in sort of in Chinese philosophy, which he came, which he brings, it's sort of the the negative things in the universe, or what we call of pain, is sort of happens because of something did go wrong in the universe, causing negative energies to start. Mm -hmm. And so she writes something about 
in her books about that. It's maybe a little bit difficult to explain it um, because um, she sort of gave the impression that everyone is good in heart. Mm -hmm. And and she, she, she tries to explain that people we might think on earth are evil or doing bad things. They really don't understand what they're doing. They really don't have the awareness that they're affecting what they're doing to others and that they're also harming themselves. Yes. yes. So, but they will understand that on the new earth, what they've done, and they will be helped to change. Beautiful. You, you mentioned that we're, we're going physically to the new earth. Will we still have our physical body? We will. It's meant for us to bring with us our physical bodies over there to the new earth. And so, but after a while, we can choose another body if we want to there. Mm -hmm. But it's meant for us to do that because to bring with us... Um, so we don't need to. It's. I think it's sort of to to not scare people or or mess up things. So it becomes very natural. For me, it's like it's it's been winter for a long time, and you wake up and you look out the window and you see flowers and mm -hmm. summer and and animals all over, and and the summer comes each year, and we've been so used to it, so we accept it as something normal. Everyone can experience the summer uh, it's not just for some chosen ones everyone sees the sun every morning if they go out yes and that is what i'm thinking about the new earth it will happen like when the summer comes it becomes so naturally but just because we haven't experienced it before it becomes very um, new that's um so you're, you're saying if um people aren't conscious or aren't I'll say the word awake they aren't even going to realize it's a new earth they're not going to even notice the shift well when we are over the new earth they will they will realize we are on another planet wow because, yeah the new earth is much bigger and it's much different than here then what when I'm, what I can say is that what different Shani West much from others is that she is very much talking about physical things as well. Every experience she has in the universe when she's traveling UFOs and when she brings information to Earth, it's physical. Like she brings extraterrestrial crystals with her. She, 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 when she's doing healing also, she says that all thoughts... And the healing affects us physical. It changes the body in a physical way. It's not just something you believe. After a while, it changes things. It get rid of uh, sicknesses physical. And also with the new earth, when we heightening our vibrations and everything, we will be on the new earth, but it will be a different earth physical. So it, actually you could say, I believe sort of we can think that Everything is energy, everything is vibrations. So when the vibrations and the energy changes, it's affected reality, physical, so the nature and everything will have a different appearance. And everyone would realize that this is another Earth, a new planet. This is so, so cool. It's, a, it's a, such an exciting time. Do you, do, does Shani give a, a time frame for the, the transition? She says that there, there will be open, what she says, it's spiritual windows for us with a chance to move over. Um, the thing is that they can travel uh, in, into the future and see what is going to happen, but we always have different possibilities for the future. Um, but she says that there is a much chance for us to go over actually in 2012 because the, the, the balance, the harmony between the dimensions sort of opens for us. And the new earth is ready for us to move over. What is holding back also could be pollutions, could be certain things that needs to happen here on earth um, before we move over. It's meant for certain things to happen. It's maybe it's meant for certain vibrations to, to um, increase before we people are really ready to, to move over. But China says that when people are over, 
uh, no matter what level they are in, in spirituality or whatever they have done, they will accept it like it's a coming of summer or they're being reborn or... It's yeah. so peaceful and so beautiful. It's um, it's just I, I love listening to you describe the, the process and what's going to occur. It's um, it's one of the most peaceful, lovely, um, transition stories that I, I've I've actually heard. So I, I really resonate with that. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, isn't it? It's so much healing to listen to Shani because it it's so much positive information that gives us harmony and peace and we can manifest this beautiful reality and she promises us that everything is true and is physical but I also realized that I've done uh, experiments with the white and healing in Sweden especially with blood levels white uh, white cells um, um, in um, what you called it in English is white blood cells yes the immune system yeah, immune system, and they experience physical changes uh, after uh, Shani has been doing white time healing. So the thing is that, because many people also think that healing is just something in your thought, but when, when it changes the thought, it changes the feelings, it changes also what we think of as reality or physical, because everything is just energy. Absolutely, it's all connected, and um, that's it's so exciting. And the exciting thing is, I think for listeners too, is that um, you you actually do distance healing. Is that correct? Yes, um, all the all the healing, uh, most of the educations with with Shani can also be done by by distance, both teaching and uh, and actually the healing. It's very exciting. So we'll have your website up during the interview and. Um, and it's it's been so amazing and uplifting. I mean, this is the perfect start. It's actually seven o'clock in the morning on the first day of the year, and oh, what a beautiful way for me to wake up. Now, I, I have a few quest few more questions. I hope you have another couple minutes to share with us. Sure. Um, these are just questions I ask everyone I interview, so it's, we're kind of shifting gears here. What's been your biggest inspiration in your life? Um, do, do you mean a person? A anything, anything that comes to mind when you think about w uh, the biggest inspiration. It, it could be anything, your dog from when you were a child, anything that, um, that's really touched you. Well, I, I, feel, I feel nothing has touched me more than Shani. Yes. Nothing has changed my life and belief system more than Shani. Before I met Shani, like for example, I'm gay, uh, I had a very... Um, bad thoughts about myself I was I was I was thinking I have to go through life with suffering to release karma I, I felt I uh, all my thoughts uh, and everything I, I was very afraid I'm going to be punished because gay is that wrong is that right uh, I was thinking I was very much in sort of very sad negative thinking uh, modus and, and I was thinking very negative uh, uh, with the future. And I was also having the ideas of 2012 being uh, catastrophic mm. uh, for Earth and for everyone. And, but, but with Shani, gave me so much hope and, and so much love. And she was so positive to me being gay. She was so kind to everyone. And, and she... she she made me realize that the universe only gives and wants love for everyone. The new earth only wants to help. It never, it never, it never starts with harming anyone or attacking anyone or want people to suffer. It's, um, it's, it's, from, it's so, it's just heart energy. And, um, and that's why I, I'm so pleased that you're on here because it's so uplifting what you're speaking about. Lots of times the, the transition people, you know, they speak about the sinners not coming and, and things like that. So I, I just, I've just enjoyed so much what you've chatted about today. Oh, thank you. Now, my final question for you is, what are your final words of wisdom today? My final words of wisdom, I would think, would be, do your own research, really, before you judge Shani West and her teachings. Do you really your own research? Um, the more, the better. It's okay to be skeptical, but also doing your research and meditate 
uh, and looking more in what is she saying, what is the information from her doing with us, doing with this reality, and can it really be true? Meditate and investigate um, before you make up your mind, and don't let and don't let anyone else tell you what to believe or books or old belief systems hold you back in getting new knowledge. So do your own, open your mind and do your investigation, your own investigation um, with everything. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time today, Michelle. It's been such a delight speaking with you. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Amy.